Eight months after the American Heart Association published a study implying that ENDS products somehow caused heart attacks before individuals used them, it has retracted the article. Find out more on this edition of Ruthless Insider. Hello and welcome to another edition of Ruthless Insider. The journal's editors claimed to have recognized the problem before the publication was released, but the authors failed to address this before publishing it. Based on data from the Population Assessment of Tobacco and Health, Dharma Bada and Stanton Glantz claimed to find that, quote, e-cigarette use is an independent risk factor for having had a heart attack. Glantz, a longtime anti-smoking activist and e-cigarette opponent who directs the Center for Tobacco Research Control and Education at the University of California, San Francisco, claimed the results provided, quote, more evidence that e-cigs cause heart attacks. Conversely, Brad Rodu, a tobacco researcher from the University of Louisville, pointed out last July that the analysis that Bada and Glantz ran included former smokers who had experienced heart attacks before they ever started vaping. Once those subjects were excluded from the study, Rodu found that the association described by Bada and Glantz disappeared entirely. Rodu wrote in a letter to JAHA, quote, their analysis was an indefensible breach of any reasonable standard for research on association or causation. In an additional letter a week later, Rodu urged the journal's editors to, quote, take appropriate action on this article, including retraction. Despite these letters bringing light to the situation, the study wasn't retracted until this week, which begs the question, why did it take the journal so long to acknowledge the massive error present in this research? JAHA's editors and reviewers recognized that there was a logical problem with asserting a causal link between e-cigarette use and heart attacks based on the cases that predicated e-cigarette use. They asked Bada and Glantz to address that crucial issue, and the authors failed to do so, even though the PATH database included the necessary information. Jaha published the study anyway, and Bada and Glantz say they can't do a corrective analysis now because they no longer have access to the PATH database. It seems like a pretty sketchy peer review and editorial process, doesn't it? It's very likely that JAHA would have been a bit more careful with a study that found vaping prevents heart attacks by helping smokers quit. Do you believe that the American Heart Association purposely took their sweet time addressing this fix, or is their system fundamentally flawed? Please share your thoughts with us down below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell button to keep up to date with all of our Ruthless content. This has been Nick with Ruthless Insider, and we'll see you next time.